Well, we are gonna ruffle some feathers in today's video. Some of you are not gonna like what I have to say, but it needs to be said, and that is vaping. Vaping is seriously damaging your skin. It's contributing to premature skin aging, not to mention it's really, really, really bad for your health. And a lot of young people have been sold a pack of lies when it comes to vaping. And in this video, we're gonna highlight how damaging vaping is, not just for your skin, but for your total body health, what exactly it does to you. And I know what you're thinking, yeah, 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 I already know vaping is not the best for my lungs. Uh, it's not just a lung issue. It is a total body health damager and can rapidly age your skin. I'm particularly passionate about this because I see on one side young people being highly motivated to be proactive about anti-aging skincare even when they don't have anything showing up on their face yet, but simultaneously are hooked on the vape. That is the first thing you need to bail on. Cutting the vape out takes priority over your skincare routine. This is not fear mongering. So let's start with the basics. What exactly is vaping? Well, vaping or e-cigarettes, they're handheld devices. They heat a liquid into an aerosol that you inhale. That liquid often contains nicotine, as well as propylene glycol, vegetable glycerin, and flavorings. And the vaping industry has marketed these as a safer alternative to smoking cigarettes. And they even have sold it as a safe and effective way for quitting cigarettes. But that's misleading. According to the American Medical Association, many so-called nicotine-free vapes actually still contain nicotine. Because vaping in the grand landscape of things is relatively young, we're still beginning to understand the effects vaping has on the body, including the skin. But before we zoom into the skin, let's talk about the effects vaping has on your body. E-cigarettes have been linked to lung inflammation, chronic cough, and worsening respiratory issues. They deliver nicotine. Nicotine is highly addictive. Many vaping devices deliver nicotine in a high concentration. The American Medical Association warns that vaping can harm the heart, impair brain development in young people, and lead to long-term dependence, meaning you are hooked, you are a customer for life, which I imagine is what the vaping industry wants. They want to hook people young and get them addicted so that they remain a customer for life. It's not a harmless habit. So let's talk about what it's doing to your skin because as a dermatologist, that's why you guys come here, right? Here's what we know about how vaping affects your skin. First, it's been shown to impair wound healing. Similar to how smoking cigarettes is well established to impair wound healing. Nicotine restricts blood flow. Basically, that means less oxygen, fewer micronutrients, growth factors needed for healthy skin. This really slows down your skin's ability to repair itself. Second, vaping has been linked to contact dermatitis and allergic skin reactions, especially around the mouth and the hands. Common culprits are nickel, surprisingly. Nickel from the heating coils plus the chemical flavorings act as irritants and allergens. Also, there are cases of documented skin conditions that significantly worsen with vaping. These include discoid lupus, morphia, and periorificial dermatitis. Yeah, that condition that's sort of like rosacea, looks kind of like acne, very uncomfortable, really challenging to get rid of. Vaping can make that a significant problem for you. Not to mention burns. Yes, burns have been known to happen from exploding batteries or devices overheating. These have caused cases of real injury to the thighs and the hands. Let's get into the nitty gritty about the science behind how vaping speeds up skin aging. First of all, vaping increases inflammation in the skin. Lab studies show that e-cigarette usage worsens skin cell health integrity and that it increases certain pro-inflammatory cytokines. Things like interleukin-6 and interleukin-8. These cytokines are involved in driving skin conditions like acne and rosacea. Second, vaping generates a lot of oxidative stress. That means more free radicals, which can damage your collagen and elastin. This leads to wrinkles, dullness, and accelerated skin aging. Third is related to the nicotine itself. Nicotine, again, causes vasoconstriction, which means your skin is not getting the nutrients it needs to heal, to repair, to recover from environmental aggressors, and to stay healthy and youthful. And finally, the heat and the chemicals from vaping, they can compromise skin barrier integrity, making your skin more vulnerable to irritation, redness, and sensitivity, symptoms of like burning, stinging, discomfort. So while vaping may seem harmless on the outside, it is slowly poisoning your body. And that's gonna show up on your skin because hello, your skin is a window to what is going on internally. I wanna address some of the biggest myths that 
I hear perpetuated with regards to vaping. Number one is that vaping is a safe alternative to smoking cigarettes. The truth is vaping is not harmless. The American Medical Association clearly states that e-cigarettes are not an FDA approved smoking cessation tool. And many of the long-term risks are still unknown, especially when we're talking about the scan. And I want you guys to keep that in mind because I am a doctor and I'm not just saying this here to throw in some authority bias, but I want you to remember me telling you this because 20 or 30 years from now, I don't want people coming on the internet and being like, they told us, they told us these were safe all along. They knew they were not. Um, no, we don't know how safe they are. We're not telling you they're safe. Okay. This is documented evidence that doctors are not telling people that vaping is safe. Okay. Cause I know, right. They always love to throw in there that ad of a doctor smoking a cigarette from way back in the day. This, we're not going down that path this time. Okay. So in 30 years from now, when everybody's dropping like flies from the vape pen, do not point fingers at physicians. Okay. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Devices are widely different as well. Not to mention the devices themselves, they vary a lot with regards to the heat, the chemicals they use, and the amounts of nicotine. So it's really impossible to say that any one vape is safe. And just because the skin effects may not seem as obvious to you right now, as perhaps the lung effects might be, which perhaps you're already experiencing, it doesn't mean that they're not real and you won't regret this down the road. All right, so if you are vaping, what can you do? Are you just stuck now forever? permanently latched onto this thing, I encourage you to quit. Quitting is possible. It's the single best thing you can do right now for your skin, for your overall health, for your anti-aging looks maxing goals. If you need help, talk to a doctor, a physician. There are all sorts of nicotine replacement therapies and quitting tools out there that can be a tremendous asset to you. You just have to ask for help. And your healthcare provider, that's the best place to start. Also, don't delude yourself into thinking that if you just use a vitamin C serum, serum or some antioxidant serum, it'll protect you from all that extra oxidative stress. Ugh, okay. All right. All right. If, if you want to believe in magic, most importantly, pay attention to your skin. If you're developing a rash, a skin problem, don't hesitate to see a board certified dermatologist for the correct diagnosis and treatment plan. Don't ignore your skin. It gives it many, many clues. When should you bother to see a dermatologist? While seeing a healthcare provider is a great place to start for quitting, when when should you take it to the step of seeing a board certified dermatologist for the skin consequences of vaping? If you've developed redness, itchiness on your hands or around your mouth, those can be warning signs of skin conditions related to vaping and a dermatologist can help address those. If you've noticed that your cuts or wounds are slowly healing, if you've developed skin rashes that don't seem to go away, definitely see a board certified dermatologist, whether it's related to the vaping or something else. Very important to clarify early on what it is that you have going on so that it can be treated appropriately. Dermatologists are the experts on skin conditions, including skin conditions related to the vape. Not only can they nail the diagnosis and tell you what it is you have, they can help guide you as to how to get rid of it. All right, guys, now that I've ruffled your feathers, let's wrap it up. Vaping is not good for your health. It's not just a skin health problem. It is a total body health problem. Yeah, the evidence is still emerging, but what we know so far is that vaping clearly is not good for you. It's only a matter of time before we learn all of the true consequences this has on your total body. I really hope this video was helpful to you guys and that you learned something. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye! Thanks.